Hey, Lupine here, and I want to go over the malware and phishing filter add-on. So if you don't have the add-on installed, you can go to add-ons and show available add-ons. And then once it downloads, you get um, the list and find the add-on in the list, click install, and away you go. Once it's installed, you go to add-ons and you go to malware and phishing filter add-on and then it'll pop open. And what I've done here is I went ahead and harvested a few URLs here in the background and once it's open here we can see we have the option to load URLs and then I'm just gonna do from harvester but you can use it from other options here like the poster blog list and from the actual file and so I'm gonna turn connections down a little bit here I'm just gonna go at like 20 for instance make it simple and what's gonna happen here is we see our URLs we see whether or not it's hosted malware site status and then regular status so let's just hit start and let it run so you can see whether or not it hosted malware and then the site status itself and then um, status right now so for instance this is yellow and at one point it has hosted malware but it's clean right now so that's why it's yellow um, any ones that you see that are red which I don't have any here in the list are actual sites that are hosting malware right now so basically you can use this add-on if you wanted to run it through Slowposter and you're having a problem because Slowposter uses Internet Explorer and that just is problematic in general um, when it comes to malware and stuff. Fastposter doesn't have those kind of issues. but um, Or maybe you just want to clean it for various other reasons and make sure you have a clean list, whatever. So what the malware and phishing filter does is it actually connects to a Google-based database and it runs the sites to see if um, the site currently is known to be hosting malware now of course it's not up to the minute real time um, but it's reasonably accurate now since it does use a google based database uh, your IP can get banned so this this add-on does use proxies and if you're using a very large list then I would definitely recommend here in Scrapebox to load in some proxies and take off the use proxies box as far as how it actually works that's it is pretty basic once it's done you have filtering options removing air sites bad sites um, air sites only, untested sites, that sort of thing, and then you can save off, of course, sending them back to the harvester. You can save the bad URLs, you can save them to a file, and that sort of thing. But that is how the malware and phishing filter add-on works.